So I've redone the intro because there was a bad light that was over my head and I didn't want to keep it in. The flutes I have are my British, which is two Vosper 1s, a Vosper 2, and a Fairmile D specifically that are going to be at full stop. They are waiting for the German fleet to come by. They've been given intel to wait in ambush as a German minesweeper is being escorted by a S-38 and an S-100. The goal is for the Germans to get off the mat here and escort the minesweeper through the area. They're trying to lay mines into the channel to inhibit British um, shipping. So the goal is for a British victory to sink the minesweeper. So this is a variation of the tanker scenario that's in the book, because this time the target can shoot back with big guns. The Germans get an S-38, S-100 escorting the minesweeper. If the minesweeper gets 50% damage, so it starts at 105 hit points. If the German minesweeper gets 50 hit points, it only has 50 hit points or left and leaves the board. I'm calling this a draw because the Minesweeper has received sufficient damage that has to go back to port. If the Minesweeper exits above 50 hit points with no other issues, then it's going to be a German victory. So, I will see how this goes. Hopefully... You guys get a decent view. I will try and narrate as best as I can as I go, and hopefully this angle works. So we got some islands. These little pieces in here are going to be sandbars. The rest of it's going to be some rocks. So I'm going to start off by putting my um, dice. I got some bold action dice that are going to be green for the British and the German browns. And the first dice is a German. So this is going to be an easy activation. German is going to be going at combat speed with the Minesweeper. The Minesweeper's combat speed is 12. And unbeknownst to them, they have no knowledge that there is a British squadron waiting to ambush them. Okay, that's straightforward. No shots, technically, because I'm going to say they don't quite know that the British are there. And we have another German Knights. We're going to do the outside S-38. This is going slow speed as an escort vessel because it's going 13. And I'm playing them at slow speed because the mines, they're trying to keep up just a screening force for the minesweeper. And we have another German Knights. Which means that we should get to go straight next and ambush this wheat. Unexpected, but very thematic. So, the S100 is moving up. Now, one of the things about Cruel Seas is when a ship, you can only change speed. I started the British at zero speed. They have a uh, Sights of the Minesweeper, the Fairmile is able to actually kind of see, like, oh crap, here we go. And in fact, let's activate the Vosper 1s over here. They're starting at stop. So they're going to change their speed to slow. So each of them are able to go 12. It's up to 8. And then they get the turn at the end of their activation. The issue is I have this one here, so I'm going to have to turn this before I can even do anything. And he's just going to have to, and if you are at a stop, you can technically turn 90 degrees. So, and because of the way this is all set up, I'm going to go ahead and launch a torpedo. Because I don't think this is going to get much else of a shot. Eyeball it up here. Okay. 
the VOS for two at a slow speed of 13. 13. Yeah. It's going for the one and 13 for the two. So that's going to move up right up here. And it's going to stay like that. And then the fair mile will move up to slow speed. It goes 10. Try to thread the needle here. And that one will launch, I think, both torpedoes. Torpedoes 1 and 2. One of the things I think is a very big plus is a neoprene mat. I'm looking forward to getting one just because this does have the creases in it and I think it kind of messes with torpedoes. So a neoprene mat's high on my list. Right now that is the end of turn one. The British are spotted and revving their engines and starting to deploy down through the coastal rocks of their ambush. May not be the perfect place to have ambushed, but this is where they're ambushing. First dive round two, we have the German dice. We have maybe a alert. We see weight starting, we see engines, we hear engines. So we have to decide, let's hit the minesweeper up to uh, keep it at combat speed so I can shoot back. Let's see how well that works out. Now it can go six, and then I can take it turned angle. And you know what? It's going to go full 12. Let's see what happens. Combat speed. And let's take a shot across the way at the fair mile because I got rocks obstructing the Vospers, but the fair mile is pretty clean shot. So the German minesweeper has a three inch gun in the front and aft. I say the aft gun cannot shoot, but the front gun can. It also has thir a 30. Oh no, yeah, 20 millimeters, sorry. 37 quake. So I'm gonna say my three inch gun and one of my 20s. The 20 has a range, uh, where's my ranges? A 50. I doubt that, yeah. But the three inch gun's the important one. That's got a range of 120, and that is at 82. So it is over half. So with Pearl Seas, love this little reminder. So I'm starting at five. I'm at over half, so I'm going down to three. No change for experience because everyone's regular. The firing vessel is moving at combat, so it doesn't get any modifiers. The target vessel is slow, so it goes from three to four, and the target vessel is medium, so it doesn't do anything else. And it only has a gun director, so but only one gun shooting, so it's still a four. So I get one dice, four or less. I got a five. That is not less than four. So because it's a big gun, I do have a plume into the water. Not so exciting, but one big gun, one big shot, and we got in our German dice. Seeing, uh, I'm going to do the outside boat here, and since we got some radio traffic, it's going to go up to combat speed. We know that there's something going on. We're going to go, this is the S100, so it goes 14 before it can turn. And then that's 14, so I'm going to turn up this way. And then it's going to move another 14. And then I'm going to keep it there. It's at combat speed. 
What do we got for a front gun? I got an obstructed shot. I'm going to call it obstructed because of the, little, the sandbar down there. And I can just thread the needle right here. So, that is a 20 millimeter, if I'm correct. Yeah, that's only a 20 millimeter. So, it's got a range of 50, but I am closer. And that is just short. So, no, no target. Next up, we got a, a bridge. I'm going to use up this phosphor that did not move. Actually, you know what? No, let's do the fair. Let's do the fair mile. I think it's going to matter for how we move down in this area. So we're going to move up from slow to combat. So I'm now at 20. I'm moving 10. Actually, no. Forgot. Torpedoes first. So torpedoes once launched go first. If the boat owning them has sunk, then they go before anything else gets activated. They move 40. Oh, then that's going to definitely hit a rock. But this one. Will not. Hence why I don't like this mat. So, anyone who's crying about precision, forgive me now. I want to po apologize if there's a little break in here. Something happened. I step away. I stopped the video. I'm going to record a new piece and put them together. So, this torpedo is definitely going to hit the rock. This has still got a clear shot. We're going up to combat speed, though, like I said. We're going to move up to 10. And turn slightly. And move the other 10. That's a combat speed. Now, the Fairmile has a six pounder, which is a decent gun. It's just, and then twin HMGs. So I'm going to take, because I can't see, I'll let it shoot at the Minesweeper. HMGs should not be in range because they have a range of, um, where is it, 40. But the six pounder has a range of 10 to 80. So the question is, how far is it? It's 62. So that is over half. So it's going to be 5 minus 2 for 3. No change for experience crews. Um, I'm going combat speed, so no change there. The vessel I'm shooting at is going combat speed, and it did not move over 24, so no change. But it's a large vessel, so I'm hitting on 4s. So one die hitting on fours. It's a two. The British are very accurate, apparently. So in this, the quick reference sheet is awesome. I'm looking down here. A six pounder hits on a five d six. So five d six. Any sixes automatically are criticals that the defending ship can cancel by their crew. So five d six. One on the floor. That's a one. No sixes, darn it, but the British have 15 points of damage on the Minesweeper already to start. 40 more, and we can consider it at least a draw. So first, first hit of accuracy on the Next up after that is a British dice. Let's activate this phosphor, which is going to go to slow of 12. It's going to, oh, I did it again. Let's just move the torpedo up. Is the torpedo going to 
it's going to hit the rock. It's going to nip it right in there and be exploded. So I have launched this phosphorus. That was left torpedo. So that torpedo. Actually, you know what? I like that idea. On a whim, I'm putting torpedoes on the cards themselves to keep track of which ones I can still use. There's one thing that you got to keep track of mentally. I'm doing this by myself. I got to keep track of both sides. But the German have no use for torpedoes because torpedoes don't affect small or medium ships. So this is now at slow speed. Nothing to shoot at. Um, oh, and this is going to have to move angle. Not going to take the full 45, but that'll work. Starting this obstacle. And we have a British. Let's take up this phosphor to combat. That's going to go 12 angle. Right. And slide right there. I'm going to angle a little bit over. That's at combat speed. Uh, no shot, big rock in the way. But it will unleash both torpedoes. This one right here. Put those fish in the water. And sometimes in the game it feels like the torpedoes are area denial. Because at this point it will be a tight decision to slow down to avoid these. If the minesweeper speeds up, very doubtful it's going to avoid the kill area of this area. But if it slows down, it might. But then again, if it slows down, it has this one here. So really kind of enjoy it when it's uh, at least one large ship, and that means the Germans are last, British are next. So this is going to now be going combat. This is the Vosper 2, which should be one inch, one centimeter more. Yeah, this is now going 26, 13, go straight, 13. Angle, but the angle is still pretty bad for a torpedo launch. Better chance at a front shot if it was next turn. But it's not next turn. Yes, 38 is going to be very loyal and keep up escort duty. And he's going to try to swing up this way and try to take shots, protect the minesweeper. So I let that go to combat speed. Yes, 38 goes uh, 13 before it can turn. So that puts me at 7. Turn a little bit. 13. Now I'm going to turn this way a little bit, just a smidge. Actually, no, it's going to have to be like that. Uh, this is going to take a shot. I can see from both guns up at the fair model. I don't have a really, I see mast, but I really don't see anything but the fair model. The fair model is a really clear target. So, front gun is a 20, and the rear gun is a 37. So, my range is. 70 on the 37. I should have that. Yes, I do. I have 55. I get 50 on the front one, which I have. So, white will be the front, red will be the back. Both are over half, so it's 5 minus 2. Not going to combat. it. The target vessel is going combat speed of 20. So that'll affect the green vessel. 
Okay, so relax. This is where I feel like the veteran status on these ships is matters. I said red was the back, so the 37 hits. I might have said it wrong, but red is the back on this. So 37, that's 46. I do have a critical. I have a six. So before I do damage, we're a regular crew, so five or six, they negate, they do not negate the critical. So let's record the damage. It's gonna be six plus three, nine, 12 on the fair mile. This is gonna drop it down to 50 or 63 from 75. And now we roll on the critical table. The critical hit is a three, rudder and steering. I will read that in its effect when I do that because it doesn't affect until next activation. So somehow the rudder got hit while only the front of the ship is looking. So pick this up. We're entering round three. Herman's got a lot of table to move still. I kind of want the minesweeper to stay in the action, but I feel like it has to pick up speed and just get off the table. But the fair mile, let's get this one moving. It's British activation. Really tough. This is going combat speed, so it's going to be the 13. Is that one 12, right? Yeah, 13. I really want some torpedoes in the water from this boat. Because really, torpedoes on the big ship are what's going to be needed. And sadly, the Vosper has put itself completely exposed. But a torpedo boat's good if you can fire its torpedoes. If you never get torpedoes off, what is the point? So. In this situation, is the best move? Well, it makes whoever's driving the minesweeper debate. Do you want to take a chance on these torpedoes? Because if it is aimed right, it's going to cause you to debate on going fast or slow, but only six centimeters where I come up. This is the only difference on a ship that measures tw the stick. We're talking about the stick and changing that much. So going the full full speed is 18, but then we put the bow here, and from here you still got the ship sticking out. So a lot of things to debate. And let's try to take a shot at the S38 that's closer. It's a dual 20, if I am correct. Yeah, it's a twin 20. So I do like, I don't know if I like the aspect of adding more damage dice when it's a multi-gun that's a twin or a quad, or being able to re-roll if it was dual or quad. So this is just missing. The tip is just missing the bow. So, we will see how much damage that Vosper takes in a minute. Up, uh, British! Let's get this one into the action. I'm trying to keep them at long range to see if the shots will come closer. So, torpedoes first. Torpedoes move 40. All right. I can time to think about that now. Yeah, 40. Now 
might have fired them a little early. Really depends on where this is going to land up. So this is going 12. Move this up 8. Turn. This will be 8. We got some combat speed going. So we got the S38 in full view. And the back gun is in full view. So let's see. If we can take some shots on the 38, cause some chaos. So that's a twin HMG in the back. Oh, yeah, it has to be closer. That's only 40. I do have it. Not a half range. And the front gun is at 28, so it's not half range either. So we got fives minus two for over half. They're going combat speed, no change. Target vessel is, did it move over 24? Yes. So minus, so a two. HMG, the nine failed, the 20 is a two. Red dice is the good dice right now. So the 20 millimeter does 3d6. On the S38, British gunners are at it again. We got a six, five, and one. So let's see if they cancel the Germans cancel the critical on a five or six. It is a five. The German crew, if you play bolt action, you know they're highly trained. They are not shaking one bit. But their boat, on the other hand, did take 12 damage. So it's down to 43. Not a big chunk, but a chunk of the boat is then. Hot full of Swiss cheese. We have a German activation. Let's move this ship up. The S38. It's going 26. No, you know what? Let's just go 13. No, I already put the measuring down, so I'm going to do the full 26. So, can't interdict the torpedoes, but we are going to unleash a lot into this Vosper. So, everything will unleash. We have two machine guns like every ship in Cruel Seas has. Everyone has two machine guns. So, machine guns should be within 15. Are they within 5? No. And no. 37 doesn't have a... Yeah. So the 37 in the back, if it's within 10, it is in point blank. And it is just touching. So we do get a point blank shot. So let's figure this out. 5. We're not within half, so we're staying at 5. We are no tensing, firing vessel, the combat. Target vessel did go over 24. Yeah, it went over 24. So it's this, but it is small. So it goes down again. So threes. Machine gun. Neither hit it, got an eight and a six. That one failed. The um, 20 millimeter in the front needs a three. It gets a nine. However, our issue, our 37 in the back, is. Uh, point blank range, so it gets plus two, so five. And a seven. Highly trained, not highly proficient in gunning. That was really bad. Bumpy seas, you know. British, I have to do the fair model. So, oh, this goes away at the end of the last round. Rudder hit. Let's see what happens. As soon as the vessel is activated, it is a six. On a roll of five or six, make as many turns as you can to the maximum degree to the right. So it does say I can change speeds. It doesn't say I can't change speeds. So we're going to go down to slow. It has to make the max turns to the right. So. I'm going to try to slow down, see if I can fix this thing. 
as the 10. So it's got to go 10. So that puts it. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do this, torpedoes. Torpedoes first. This one's into the rock. Boom, bang, boom. And this one is going to just barely hit. Literally, the 40 places it right here. Smack. So we have a torpedo hit. So we gotta see if we hit. So, torpedo start on a four. The target is a large vessel, so we have two six there. The target speed is only 12. So, it gets no minus eight. So, it's a protector up. So, six or less is torpedo hit. It is a two. Now, I gotta remember what the, I think it's four, five, or six. The vessel, the torpedo is not a dud. Let me double check that. Yeah, it's right here. Duh, it's on the quick sheet. Oh no, three plus. 50 50. I'm on D6. It is a three with a regular crew. That torpedo is legit. So, it does 16 D6, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, right? Yep. So, the difference with a torpedo hit, a torpedo hit, 6 is you roll again and add that for damage. So here we go. We got 1. Two sixes. I think this basically makes it at least a draw. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 46, 52, 58, 59, 64 points of damage. So that's going to put this at a draw. Because the minesweeper is now down to 26 points of damage left. So at this point, torpedoes are awesome in this. Torpedoes are. I really love seeing the torpedoes explode. Um, so now we got to do the movement. So it's going down to slow speed. It's going to go 10. It has to do a max turn to the right, which is that. Directly heading towards a sandbar. Not good. The intention is next turn is you'll go full stop and try to do a repair on the critical hit. But right now it's a regular crew. It's going slow speed. I am not... No, you know what? It'll stop next turn. It'll repair to get rid of the critical. This turn, it will take the shot. So, get the shot while we can. The back arc gun, because this is a fair mile and has a heavy hitter, it's got a twin 20 in the back. It should be able to draw a line of sight this way. Yeah, so everything will. We'll try the machine guns. Here, because we got only got a sandbar, and the heavy guns. You know what? No. Everything into this ship. If we can remove the 38, it'll help a lot. So the back six pounder into the minesweeper. Let's do that one first. So the range is 40 is the magic. It's over half. So we got five minus two. I am going slow though, so that gives me a Four. The target vessel is not changing in size because it's a big ship. It's a 10, that's a fail. But now we unleash everything else. The um, heavy machine guns on the fair mile are right here, so they will get front arc here. So I get a big gun, two of those, and ten of the machine guns. They have 360, so they'll be firing too. But the machine guns should be out of range. Yeah, because machine guns here are short. 
but the heavy machine guns can. So heavy machine guns will be the same dice, and the red one will be the big gun. Heavy machine guns are at long range. The six pounder is at 30, which will put it at half range. So fives, five up is not as slow from six. Uh, everything six, medium vessel, minus one for medium five. So the red dice is going to be on five. These are on three for the heavy machine gun. Heavy machine gun, five and six fail. The big gun, nine. That fails too. That rotor hit must have them more scared than I thought. Next one is British or German. So let's get the S100 up in action. It's going to go down to slow speed. I'm going to see if I can weave through the rocks here. So up to up 14. So that the mid gun can get a shot here. The front gun, let's go for the fair mile. The rear gun really got no shot. So there should be machine guns. They should be out of range, but I'll try. And then the other two guns, the front gun into that, the dual into the phosphor. So let's do the front gun. Range of 24, so it's under half, so we're at five. Under half, so stage five. Fire vessel one seven, so six. Target vessel three, so seven. So that front gun's gonna hit the um, fair mile on seven. It's a six, it is a hit, so the fair mile is going to take four, 3d6. It's only a 20 millimeter. So 20 millimeter into the fair mile, no sixes, and only 10 points of damage. Drops it down to 53. The machine gun, let's see what this quad is over half. So everything else is going to be over half. Machine guns are in range 30, no problems. So everything's over half. So machine guns will be these, and the quad will be that red dice. So it's fives, going slow six over half four. Part of this is four, three, four, so that's three, and it is small two, right? Fives minus two for half. I'm going slow fours. It's going over to chart over 24, so minus one, and it's small so two. These are all hitting on twos. And that's a 10, 10 and four. Again, the Germans, well trained, not so well aiming. Next one, we have that last girl tied up. That captain just must be inexperienced. The crew's good, but Minesweeper, it is hurting, hurting, hurting. Oh, we're going six. Only angle at 30. And then move another six. Proceed with zigzagging. So, but we're not tailing up this. So we will. Let's do these. The back gun has a 270 arc. So back gun's got nothing. The back 37, same way, got nothing. So we'll unleash with, I got 20 millimeters, the three inch. The three inch is going here. Actually, no. 20 millimeters here, the three inch on the fair mile machine guns here if they can reach. So, 
half range on the three inch gun is 60. This is at 40. So we're good. So it's fives. Oops. I gotta do my little, there we go. So we're on fives, under half range. It's gonna come at me. They're going close to a six. That means, so this is hitting on a six. That's a nine. Not so good. That dice is fired. White and red on 20 millimeters. They're at over half. Machine guns, one machine gun. So the machine gun will be this special Wild West Exodus dice. The 20s will be this, so it's fives. Over half, threes. Let's move two. It's not, so I'm hitting only on ones. Slim chance. A four or five in an eight. So, oh, that Vosper up there. Lone Vosper going slow speed. I'm going to go up to this combat key. Thread the needle. Just barely. 12. That's one thing I find interesting is the anything over a medium size has to be like 10 centimeters away from obstacles. But the small boats don't have to be. This one is my last phosphor. It will fire its right torpedo tube. Oh no, it should be left. This is still has the left one. That still has two. Oh no, it fired left up there. So that's the right one left. So, that should be within 30 degree angle. Yep, that's in 30 degrees. So, and front gun, I don't think it has range to the minesweeper. Really can't see the other target. And she does have range to the minesweeper. That's a 20 millimeter, so it's fives. It's going five over half three. It's going combat speed, target vessel is only going 18. It's large, so fours. That's a nine. That's a miss. So, next up. Round four. Dice are in the bag. First is a German dice. That'll be this one. It's going to reduce speed to slow. S38 is 13. Okay, unleash everything to this phosphor. That's in point blank. Nothing else is in point blank. So, rear gun is still special. That'll be red, front gun, and two machine guns. So it's fives. We're going slow. Six. They're going 24. They're small. Five. So red is on seven. The rest are on five. Seven, five, eight. Nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. All failed. On your five. Big gun, though, 37 millimeter, does hit 
at point blank. It's a 46 shot. No success. So I take 10 points of damage on this Bosper. That Bosper has. I say eight, nine, ten in this one. So that's a twenty-five. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. So nothing spectacular on that. German. Let's do this one. It's my slow speed. That one's 14. That's on leash. On. So the quad is going here, and everything else into the fair mile. So the quad on this one first, as that has it, is under half. So it's five. I'm going slow six. Tiny no fools. Going over 20, 24 to fours. Hits. So this is where the quad gets interesting. It's a 3D6 automatic weapon. For it being a quad, I add 3D6 onto this little wasper. I do have a six. So let's resolve to cancel the crit. It's on a five or six. The four. This British crew is not very skilled. Let's resolve the damage. So that's 11, 14, 15, 18 points of damage. So that goes down to 10, 15. That's down to five. It's on fire a bit. It's not so seaworthy. The critical is a six. Crew is hit. No shooting this activation at the next activation before performing. So we'll just put a crew hit on there for now. I'll read that later. So crew hit. Okay. Oh, the rest of the shooting. So two machine guns. A quad or a dual. So this is going up here. Machine guns are at um, one's under half, so I do need another dice. I'll do them separately. So fives, everything has to be under half. The best of medium is going slow. So that's six. I'm going for that seven. So front gun hits. Middle gun hits on a one. So that's 3d6. The middle gun's a dual. So that's a 3d6 plus one. And the machine guns, the first one's on seven. That's a one that hits. That adds a d6. Second machine gun's on a five because it's over half. That's a four. I guess they just needed to slow it down to become a little bit more proficient. This is all going to the fair mile. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points of damage. That crew, not only are they focused on the rudder hit, they're about to get really hurt. One six. Let's see if they cancel that six first. Hello. Uh, five or six, they cancel it. They do. That pretty crew is, it is outstanding. What are you doing? Doing any gameplay. That's 10, 14, 15, 20, 26, 28 on the fair mile. What? I am. You want another one? Mm -hmm. mm. One more. Okay. One more. My son? Do you see him in the room? Nope. But he just came down and asked for a juice. You want to say hi? No. 28, so that's on the fair mile. So that goes from 50 to 30, down three. So 25 left. Mm. 
So, add some damage. Here. Here, give me that. Mine's already falling out. Come on. Come on. Sorry if there's another gap. I had to help him, my son get a drink. So, Fairmont was in a really bad shape, but British sacrifice. British sacrifice in order to take down the target. The Fairmont is going to full stop. So, the rudder hit, I will roll for it anyway, but it's going to do a repair action. So, the rudder hit says a three. On a roll of three or four, the vessel must continue in the same direction without turning. That is probably the best case scenario because if it was first forced to turn left, it would collide with this Vosper. So the sheer fact that I don't have to turn because when you're at a stop, you turn 90, you can turn up to 90 degrees. So that would have been horrendous. And The goal would be to fix the ship, but at this point, pain, hurt, crisis in front of us, all crew, open fire on the S-100. We can repair the ship later. That back gun has a 270 degree arc, so we'll be able to get it shot in. So, front gun, so for the minesweeper, Everything else will pour into the S100. So let's go for the big gun. Oh, at least relatively big gun in this case. It's over half to fives. I am stopped. So now I go, it is over half to three. I am stopped. That goes up one. Large vessel is going to combat me, but it's already got those fives. So on a five or less, that's a seven. Not so good. But now we will do the rest. The heavy machine guns need to be within 20. They are. So that's fives. I am stopped. Six. My target marks of seven. So HMG. One and a nine. So the one hits. So that's 2d6 from the HMG. That is a. Oh, it's twin HMG. So that's actually 3d6. I have a twin 20 millimeter midship that's under half. So I said seven, eight, five. I have stopped six. He's going to score seven. So seven. That hits. It's a twin. So it's a 3d6 plus one. So it becomes a 4d6 half shot. And the other one is under half. It's, probably, it's at 21 point blank. It's 5 plus 5, 10, so yeah, that's on a 7 as well. That's an 8. The big gun missed. So, 2 shots out of 4 weapons. And not even my big one. But it gives me a 7d6 damage roll. The S100 is taking 1 critical. Let's resolve that. Lots of 3s. Let's play some Yahtzee. It is a five. Again, the German crew experience training resolution pulling off. That's 12, 14, 15, 21. 21 damage into the F100. Knocks it down to 44, but it's still got some help. German dice next. That means all the rest are British. Okay, let's go. Let's just go. Gotta get out of here. But I need to shoot shoot you up. Let's keep going combat speed. That's six. Six. And turn that way. So, 
Now the back gun can come into action. So, front gun. Can't see anything because of the rocket noise. So, I have Osper in front of us. The six pounder has a 10 centimeter minimum range. And we are at 13. So we're at point blank. That is going to be one nasty shot. So let's do the big gun first. So it's fives. I'm going under point blank to mark the sevens. I'm going to time it doesn't matter. There's one over there. So sixes. Small five. I have a fire director. That is six. It's an eight. It's an eight. German Gunners, get better. Up on those turns are 20 millimeters. So, this is going here, this is going over here. So, the distant one is over half. So, into this house for two, it's fives going over half three, two for recall, three for shy director. That's a ten, that's it. Other one would be same conditions except for it's under half, so it's fives. That's a miss. Machine guns are mounted here, so thirty. So there are over half, so that would be, let me make sure I'm doing fire directly, right? I forget if it's all things, bear with me, fire director. Yeah, six pounder or bigger. So yeah, just the main guns, the little ones. So that would have been two, so doesn't matter. So machine guns, fives, tiny, fast, three, oh, so ones. These are machine guns, these ones, both are not in. And this is the quad, no, 37. So that can go up this way. Uh, we'll shoot at the fair mile. 37, 35 is my half. And it is at 43. So it's fives. Over half three. I'm going that. You're going stop though. So that goes back to five. Meaning of that goes to five. That one hit. So 37 should be 46 into the fair mile. That's 9. You let 14. 14 is down to 11 hall points. It is not very seaworthy. Not very seaworthy at all. That was the big German activation on the big ship. Not very spectacular. So, we got torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. Let's do this top one first, because this could end the activation. No. It goes under the S-100. And it will, and if it gets to go first, it'll clip the aft of the ship. That's going to be really close. So, this is going combat speed at 12. Definitely needs to turn and go 12 more. That will get all the guns into the S100. Yes, 
So is that 10? So everything's going to be under half. So 20 millimeter in the front. So that's five under half. I'm going combat. They're going slow because that's sixes. So front gun, six, six. Heavy machine gun in the back is a two as well, six. And double machine gun, miss. Yes. So it was five. Six. Oh no, one machine gun. Because I got six. So that's a uh, 3D6, 2D6. HMG, 20 millimeter, and machine gun. Six dice. This is the S100. And two sixes, two possible criticals. And one of them is canceled. So we got 12, 18, 23, 24. That's 24. That's 20 left. And I got to roll the critical, which was a 9. Extra damage to structure. Roll 2d6s. That's a 5 on the floor. 2 on the table. 7. Modified. We 13 left. Okay, let's do the fair mile I went. This guy has a crew hit. We'll do that one last. This phosphor with torpedoes in the water. That's just going to go off the table. Put it here. This one. Just misses. It's right there in front of that torpedo, basically. So, let's go down to slow speed. We need to go a little here. And this will have machine guns into 38, but the 120 will go into the minesweeper. Are we within five? Yes. So point blank shots on the machine guns. Why? Because playing for the objective, sink the mine, mine sweeper. That's the mission on hand. Knows what this boss is going to do. Late to the party. Torpedoes really stinking up the place. I could try to launch torpedoes, but I think the angle will be really steep for 30. And the back one might actually work. So launch the back torpedo. Torpedo to four. It's kind of going about there. So machine guns five. That vessel to five seven. I'm going to assist for the rest of the game. So eight. A four and a one. So that's two D six into the S thirty eight. That's a six and a two. So that's eight points of damage. But one critical, which they cancel on a five. German talent. German training. Definitely showing through. British. On the mind sweeper. So five. Did I say half? Yes. So five. Not point blank. I'm going to go for six. They're not going. But seven for large vessel. And that's a two. So my twin 20. So that's 3d6 plus a d6. Mine super is down to 26 points of damage. So pass on. Nope. I'm being too short. Unless I get a critical. I do have a critical, not much damage, you got two ones in there. Do they cancel it? 
they do not. Minesweeper has a lot of iffy crew. So it's going to take 13 damage. And then the critical it's going to take is a 10, a torpedo hit. It has no torpedoes. So in this case, you roll these six to give the torpedo cooks off. However, if no torpedoes have been suspended or if they're already been fired, then we consider this as an extra structure hit. So this does have chance. No, it doesn't. Even if I roll double six, no one can get it. It's nine. So it is down to two points of damage. Would this have been a different game if I had gone to Minesweeper at full speed across the board? Good question. But it looks like this Minesweeper is not going to finish playing its mines, and the British are looking at a victory. So this Phosphor, torpedoes are going off the board as misses. But again, if it was, I fired, what is it? One, two, three. Four, five. Well, I can count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine torpedoes. One definitely hit. One has a chance of hitting. So I have nine torpedoes. Two. So I'm going to say this would hit if it's going to go another round. Two out of nine torpedoes actually hit their mark. Maybe it's just me. But. Mass torpedoes against a big ship. That's what's done. So, this is a crew hit. Yes, crew hit. So, let's resolve crew hit. No shooting this activation at the next activation before performing any action. Skill test must be passed. So, this is its current activation after receiving crew hit. So, it cannot shoot. So, I'm going to go down to slow speed. And the problem is, I am going to ram the Minesweeper. Even at slow speed, I'm two centimeters over. So, this is going to sink it, but we consult the, um, the collision table. Did not do this on purpose, folks. Did not do this on purpose. So, the attacker here is a small vessel against a large vessel. So target. So it's going to get 2d6. I just did 4 damage to the minesweeper, which has sunk it. I also think there should be some sinking rules where this should stick around for like a turn or so. Why it sinks. Now large or small? 2, 4, three. The poor Vosper is going to take 6, 9, 10, 16. Which has sunk it because it only had 5 left. And a suicide attempt. The ship has ran what was left of the hull. And the Minesweeper is out of action for this turn. For this game. The British have gotten a great victory, achieving some heavy damage on the Germans. The S30, S100 only has 13 points of damage left. The S38 is in pretty good shape. It's at 35. They could tell me to go fast and pull out of the area. The Vonsper 2 is at 30 on a 40. So this is in pretty good shape. This Vonsper which kind of was us out of the action most of the game was but still full health kind of late to the party stayed late to the party piled on but realistically probably head off head off as fast as possible if this could live another turn so realistically it'll be really tough if they move up to combat speed they got a nice straight shot the fair miles in bad shape so that's the game. So, so I've redone the ending just like I redid the beginning because of the light over me. So I'm going to try to recap the things I said. One, if you really like the video, please like the video. 
If you want to be alerted when I do this again, please hit the subscribe. And so you can get those alerts and there's the bell. So you get the notifications. I have a Facebook page, it's Dice of the Round Table. It's mainly about me and what I'm painting. And if I'm painting for someone else or for me right now. Otherwise, Cruel Seas I really enjoy. And if you have any comments, go ahead and leave it. And otherwise, I'm going to do more games that I find interesting. I'm not into it for the hype of what the newest thing is. I'm not chasing after attention or subscribers. I'm doing this because I want to give attention to games that I really enjoy that I feel like are under service. And I think Cruel Seas is one of them. It's still newer from Warlord games, but shout out to Warlord. I really love that you guys went to do something different. And I really like how this flows. Either way, bring the dice to the table, roll some dice, dice of the round table, signing off.